Hey YouTube, it's Rob. Um, here I have a video. It's not the one that I originally wanted to put here, but uh, that one got too complicated uh, to explain, and I know people have a hard time understanding what I'm trying to say already, so I figured I'd postpone it until I can figure out a better way to explain it. But until then, I have this. Um, if you think about it, uh, plate tectonics limits our ability to see the planet. It uh, limits it because it makes us look at the planet as if it was a flat earth. Flat earth in a round circle, basically. Um, because uh, you could, in plate tectonics, you, you only see uh, continents like moving on a flat surface, you know, maybe rotating and, you know, over time slowly or moving left or right or whatever. But the problem that plate tectonics does is it it makes it almost impossible to think that that maybe um, continents like uh, f flipped over uh, like or you know swung the other way I guess um, and that's what I want to show you here today uh, so in the middle of the Pacific Ocean you know there, there's the Hawaiian Islands and off to the left you got uh, Fuji Island right here and then we got the North uh, North America on on the other side. So, what happens if I move these right here to the middle like this? I gotta line it up right too. So, oh come on, yeah, I like that. You can actually see here. I'll get close too. you can actually see how it fits in there right because I know I always get people that say that, that this doesn't match no uh, you know so like I want to point that out ahead of time you can see that there's just certain things that line up you can even look at this it looks like it's sliding away right right here well, it looks like it can go it can swivel back and forth is what it looks like okay so we bring North America in over here okay here we go I, I made it transparent and I think it just goes like this right where the Hawaiian Islands are you see what I'm saying right here By the way, I get people that say that this doesn't line up. Looks like it lines up to me. Doesn't it? Yeah, it lines up all right. But right there is right where it should be. Here, let's back away so you can see it too. Like that. And I guarantee you this also flips around. It's just it's weird. You really gotta open up your mind when you when you look at this planet and how it was made. But see that right there? And then if you look at it, you got the North America, it looks like a windshield wiper. So like if you're just to sweep this over this way, it would have swept all this like that like a clock okay so there's with uh, Hawaii let me take Hawaii out of the picture here it's still underneath at the very bottom but you can see other how it's lining up um, see this mark right here and then see this mark right here That looks like it lines up. I know there's going to be people that say it doesn't, but it does. It does. Look, it curves in everything right here. There's only one reason why that would match up so well, and that's if these sat on top of one another. 
see, okay, look at the curve. Hold on. Okay, I made it more transparent. Now check it out, the curve. As that lines up there, it's lining up in here. There, like that. See it right here and there. Okay, I think that's as good as I'm going to get it. Now, what I'm proposing is that, once I straighten this out, is that it's quite possible that then North America flip-flops, which means it's going to rotate in. Okay, this is what I think happened. Here comes North America across the Pacific Ocean. It goes into here. And then this rotates up to here like that but then this has to turn this way so how do you think that happens okay check this out so how does it get reversed see how that lines up maybe it flips over do you see what I'm saying? You see how this looks like a like it's this looks like um, a layer that's been flipped over. You see what I'm saying yet? <laughs> like a wave. But let's check it out. Watch, check it out. Here is the Himalayas. And we'll bring that same area in. Remember I told you this is a spillover? Well, it looks like it was like a a giant spillover, like a giant wave of a spillover. And you can tell that I'm that I'm got this because uh, you can see that these pieces right here line up a hundred percent with the same pieces in the Himalayas. You can see that like a stream is, is coming out. And I think because of the Coriolis effect you see this curling like that because the earth is rotating and it's round but this also looks like um, like it's a um, a resurfacing well look at that wave though and as you can see that it lines up on the way out and then you almost see it like this might have been the beginning of it I don't know how this works but this is it's so hard to read this but but look when you see it right here you see it spilling over this edge too see that what are the odds that it would spill over the front and the edge and then if I move it over more you can see it lines up with the with the other markings below it even here Or the beginning these are like different stages of the spillover or wave or whatever it is it's whatever it is it's huge see how that lines up again back here and then even this this has to look out look how it look at that it's amazing look how it lines up with the mountains this is like another uh, part of that wave. This really looks liquidy too. Look at it. And you, the reason I know that this is true because there's no way that this would line up 
like this if it was, if it, if it wasn't true. See that? Big old crest right there, just smashing down. And then here comes the rest of it. Well, they might all actually be the same thing. I actually, I could probably take this, copy it, and paste it over this area, and this is probably, it, it, it could be the very well the same thing. But look how it does the whole thing. It's weird how, like, look, it's even the right size between here and here to do this. See the, okay. You see this marking right here? Well, it's actually like an X, but, but it's there. You can see where it lines up here. And that just solidifies that I'm right. I mean, that just... Right there, see this? How this is the same as that below it. This is like fingerprints at a crime scene. This is what puts this here. Here, it, this is a. This would be a conviction in, in the court of law. Let me get back over here. But what is it here on YouTube? Hopefully, <laughs> something amazing. Look, see. And then the wave coming over it. And here's how I can prove it is the, the things that line up. That's my evidence. People say that YouTube isn't accurate enough, or I mean, uh, Google Earth isn't accurate enough. It's more than accurate enough. Look at that. Look how well those line up. That's accuracy. If this wasn't accurate, those would not line up so well. You get what I mean? So anyways, that's fantastic, don't you think? Python head. This thing always looks like a python or something. But see, it does fit right in there like a, like a champ. And this actually looks like it might reverse... It flips over, yeah, the wave, huh? And maybe that's what makes the arm of this thing right here. And there's the arm right there, too. Anyways, let's end that here. Thanks for watching.